Welcome back to Tom at Sales Made Easy. You know, the channel where it's gonna help you improve sales, sales management, or just anything about a sales force. And actually, it's a channel to improve you. You know, and, and so the more I think about what we try to do in this channel is to help you grow. Uh, I get a lot of people that have been doing this for 29 years now, people that have called me after 20 years and said, hey, just wanna let you know I am here and it's because of you. But today I wanna to talk a little about something a little different, and that is two words, blame versus responsibility. So you think about tear apart the word blame, and blame is really a strategy used to solve the pain of shame, get rid of self-esteem, or self-image, or the shame of your self-esteem or self-image. And it is an attempt to shift that pain to another. And in reality, blame is a very weak, weak strategy. Sometimes we do it because we don't know where else to go. We feel trapped. We feel, uh-oh, I'm in trouble, right? So I have to blame something else. But the problem is giving blame normally advocates the power to somebody else. While feeling like self-esteem and self-image might be protected, Blame actually really just gives you a temporary, and in actuality, it weakens your self-esteem. It weakens your self-image. And it shows a weakness by revealing a self, self lack of self-confidence uh, and a lack of personal integrity. And to be quite honest, it's probably dishonest and engenders a distrust and sometimes ruins relationships. But most importantly, it prevents your own personal growth. Uh, a core need of the human spirit is to grow, but not by denying that opportunity to learn and become a better version of yourself, you really hurt in yourself. And if you really think about it, that's what we talk about, and that's why you're maybe on YouTube looking at my um, podcast and others, is because you want to grow. Uh, by the way, another offshoot of blame is excuses, right? Excuses is just an offshoot of blame. I'm, I didn't do it because... I wasn't able to because. Well, normally there's a because following anything when there's an excuse coming. And that's just another way of blame. And you know, the biggest thing I've always known is that nothing changes until excuses and blame stops. So if you're here, you want to get to here, you're, there's a certain party that says, hey, I want to grow, I want to make more money, I want to do this, I want to do that. I want to become a manager. I want to be the top salesperson. Whatever those things are can happen if you're using a strategy of blame or excuse making. So those have to go away. But let's examine the the other word I talked about, right? The word that's called responsibility. If you choose to take responsibility, this is a power strategy. It takes a lot of courage uh, and build self-confidence to own the responsibility in ownership. So if you think about that strategy of taking responsibility, you are now building and even if you think, I didn't do it, you still might be responsible for it. Once you choose to own responsibility, you feel empowered to do something about it. And it silences those who would then start to blame you. It's a great strategy against the blame game. The blame conversation goes away. Energy shifts automatically to problem solving. If we think about it, when we're in the blame game, we're blaming and we're not even thinking about how to solve a problem. We're just blaming, right? And then blame it to someone else and whatever. But when you take responsibility and you own it, and this is my fault, this is my problem, then we immediately go to, okay, how do we solve this problem? And we get over that other crap going on and we get right to, okay, how do we solve this problem? And you created some real power by using responsibility versus blame. You know, and, and the more you think about it, taking responsibility really transforms the negative consequences of blaming in the very positive benefits of being trustworthy, building relationships, and, and quite honestly, enhancing your own credibility. So if you wanna be happy, if you wanna build your self-esteem, strengthen your self-image, personal growth takes place when you start owning it and you take responsibility. But I really want you to think about those two words moving forward, blame versus responsibility. Um, there's a great book called by Paul Stoltz, uh, The Adversity Quotient. And it's an interesting thing. I suggest people get that book. If you look at it, it has in there um, a great little tool, a test, to see how much personal responsibility you do. In fact, I have a test that measures your own personal responsibility. And if you'd like, email me. I'm more than happy to send it to you. It's just a self-test. Self you do it on your own.
I would take a look at that and just see. And, and you might sit there and get done with that. And the test itself might say, no, you were responsible for that. Take responsibility. And what could I have done different? How could I have created more value? When you start doing that, you will grow as a person. You will grow no matter, just as a salesperson, you will grow. So that's it for today. I want you to think of those two words, blame versus responsibility. At the end of every day, did you take more responsibility than blaming today? You did. You're on the path to really learning and growing and being successful. See you next time on Sales Made Easy.